Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing the synthesis and some of the properties of chromal chloride. Chromal chloride is a compound consisting of uh, chromium oxygen of chlorine, the formula CrO2Cl2. It exhibits no uh, forces between itself besides dispersion forces, and because of this it uh, has a really low melting point. It's a liquid at room temperature and very volatile with fumes that resemble bromine. Now for the synthesis, concentrated sulfuric acid is added to a vial containing sodium chloride and potassium dichromate. The ratio is for every gram of potassium dichromate you have, you need 0.8 grams of sodium chloride. Um, it's a good idea to use kosher salt because potassium iodide and regular table salt will react with concentrated sulfuric acid to yield iodine. Uh, also, you want to crush the sodium chloride into a fine powder and mix them very thoroughly because the sulfuric acid will react with the sodium chloride to make hydrogen chloride gas, which can uh, quickly fill up the area, as I have experienced. So I'm going to be slowly adding the concentrated sulfuric acid to the dichromate chloride mixture and showing you the chromal chloride once it's synthesized. All right, chromal chloride has been produced in the vial and can be seen as this dark red liquid at the bottom. Uh, I'd like to say uh, for safety that chromal chloride contains a hexavalent chromium atom, that is chromium with the 6 plus oxidation state, and therefore is carcinogenic. Also, as it is quite volatile, uh, it's a risk that you would be breathing in some chromal chloride fumes. So uh, be sure to be working outside or in a fume hood, as always. The first reaction of chromal chloride I'll show is probably its most famous um, on YouTube, and that is its reaction with dilute acidified hydrogen peroxide solution. That's a solution of hydrogen peroxide and hydrochloric acid that's been diluted. Uh, when chromal chloride hydrolysizes in the solution, it reacts to form a peroxochromium complex that is a blue color, and it's a pretty cool reaction to watch. So if I just tilt the vial over the top of the beaker, some chromal chloride fumes, which as you can see much resemble bromines, will come into the beaker and you should start to see a blue layer form on the top. Looks like it's a little windy out here, so I don't think any of the fumes are making it down to the uh, liquid. Just so while I'll use a pipette and take up a drop of chromal chloride and add it to the beaker. There. The chromal chloride can be seen bubbling at the bottom of the beaker and turning blue. Yeah, look at that color. I don't know how well it picks on camera, but it's uh, it's pretty intense in person. Hmm. Chromal chloride is an oxidizing agent, and so for its next reaction, I'm going to be showing it oxidizing sulfur. Some sulfur powder is added to a test tube. I'll take up some chromal chloride in the pipette and add it to the sulfur. violent reaction occurs. You can see at the bottom of the test tube where it splattered and filled the entire thing with smoke. Quite a violent reaction. So that is a basic overview of the synthesis and properties of chromal chloride. Uh, the fumes that you can see coming out of the top of the vial are hydrogen chloride from excess sodium chloride. Anyway, thanks for watching. Alright, I thought I'd show a little bit of extra footage of chromal chloride reacting with sulfur because that's quite an amazing reaction. So this time on a watch glass, a drop of chromal chloride is placed next to a mound of sulfur.
Thank you for watching.